Let's assign a drip mail sequence to one of our Realty Juggler prospect records. I'll sign into Realty Juggler real estate software, click on the prospects icon, and then click on a prospect record. Next, I'll click on the mail tab on the left hand side, and then on the new drip mail button at the top of the screen. The media is email, but we could send printed letters if we wanted to instead. The status is pending, which is what we want. The start date will start two hours from now. I'll select from the To dropdown so that I send my emails to Robert Johnson using his email address. I can use BCC2 if I want to send the same email to Robert's work email or to his spouse's email. I'll use templates from my standard drip library, but I can also use the Spanish drip library, exotic drip library, or even a custom drip sequence if I wanted to. The standard drip library includes a number of drip sequences, or drip groups. I'll pick Prospect General. Now I'll just click on the Create Drip Mail button, and Realty Juggler asks if I want to generate five drip mails. I'll click OK. As you can see, all five emails have been generated. The first one will go out today, the second one week from now, and so on. Since these are emails, I don't have to do anything else. Realty Juggler will send out all five emails automatically. If I change my mind, I can cancel the drip sequence by clicking on the Select Multiple Rows link at the top of the screen. I'll then click on the first checkbox to select all of the mail messages. Next, I'll select the Delete Selected Rows menu item from the Do Multiple drop-down menu and confirm. My drip sequence has been deleted. Now, let's do a printed drip sequence. I would like Realty Juggler to remind me when the drip campaign is done. To do this, I'll go back to the main screen and click on the Settings icon, and then on the Preferences icon. I'll click on the Tasks icon and change this drop-down menu, Task Completion Reminder for Library Drip Sequences. This change will automatically create a task with a due date that matches the date of my last drip letter. I'll go back to Robert's prospect record and apply my drip sequence again. Like before, I'll click on the New Drip Mail button at the top of the screen. This time, I'll change the media to Print and choose the same settings as before. I don't need the email address for a printed campaign, so here I'll just choose Robert's name. Realty Juggler will generate five drip printed letters. And here's the sequence that's ready to go out. Notice that this first column has little envelopes. The last time we applied our drip sequence, the icons were at signs, which signified that the earlier mails were for emails. In this case, these are printed letters. I'll click on the Tasks tab on the left, and here's that task reminder that will remind me when my drip sequence is complete. Next, I'll return to the Mail tab. At the bottom of the list, it says, Download a printable document of pending letters due within 24 hours that have media of print. If I wanted to print just the first letter for this drip sequence, the one that's due today, I would click on that link. But I prefer to print all the letters that are due today for everyone with a current drip sequence. So I'll go back to the main screen, click on the mail icon, and then click on the print pending mail icon. This screen shows all of the printed letters that I need to print for everyone in my database, and I can click on the download link here to download all the letters that are due to be printed today. In this case, there's only one, but if I had created drip sequences for lots of different prospects and clients, I could download and print them all at once. All I need to do is visit this screen every few days and download my next batch of letters. And here's the letter we just downloaded. I'll open this document in Microsoft Word so I can print it out. For more information on mail, both printed as well as email, you can go back to the main screen of Realty Juggler and click on the mail icon. At the bottom of that screen are a few links. Two of them contain the full text of Realty Juggler's letter libraries, and this one is a written user's manual describing how printed mail and email works.